in this video i am going to solve some of the previous year questions related to mathematical method of physics one of the core subject of physical science so these questions will be helpful for the preparation of upcoming gazette exam so if you are preparing for net or gate exam these questions are also helpful for the preparations uh, before going to solve if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel for upcoming videos so one more thing mathematical method of physics if you take uh, the important topics are vector analysis differential equations matrices special functions fourier series laplace transform and then uh, distributions numerical methods and uh, the group theory so these are the questions usually uh, come in the exam for from mmp uh, so let us solve here uh, the previous year questions so you will get the idea which are the questions are going to ask from mmp and how you can uh, prepare for the exam so the first question here for the differential equation dou square y by dou x square minus 2 d or dou y by dou x plus y equal to 0 one of the solution is so this differential equation we can write uh, in the form of d square minus 2d plus 1 uh, if we uh, evaluate this, if we will get the solution plus 1 and plus 1, d minus 1. If we simplify d minus 1 into d minus 1, we will get. So, value of uh, d will be uh, plus 1, uh, we are going to get. So, once we substitute in the solution, uh, for this equation y equal to a e to the power plus x plus b e to the power minus x if we, we can write but here both the eigenvalues are plus 1 so we can have the solution y equal to a plus b x e to the power x common so then uh, in the question one of the solution is uh, for uh, for the first solution if we want to write in this first term we have the coefficient of a is e to the power x so one of the solution is e to the power x and other if we want to write in the question next question the second linear independent solution is So the second linear independent solution will be the coefficient of b that is x e to the power x. So this question is related to differential equations. So the next question if we go, uh, this is related to matrices. The trace of 3 cross 3 matrix is 2. Two of the eigenvalues are 1 and 2. Third eigenvalue is so they have given 3 cross 3 matrix and the two eigenvalues also they have given third one we have to find out here so trace is what sum of the eigenvalues and here uh, the trace of the matrix is 2 here okay so trace is equal to sum of the eigenvalues 2 equal to 1 plus 2 plus lambda 3 so these are the given eigenvalues 1 and 2 lambda 3 we can find out here that is minus 1. So option here A is correct. Third eigenvalue is minus 1. So the next question the value of integral A dot dl along the square loop of side L in a uniform field vector A is. So this is the line integral they have given. So we have to get here uh, square uh, along uh, uniform field of the vector A. 
so line integral we can convert into surface integral by stokes theorem so a dot dl is equal to if we convert into surface integral it will be del cross a so the del cross a if we take uh, along a square loop of side l in a uniform field a so del cross a uh, is going to be the cross product of vector a is zero that means uh, the line integral of a is equal to zero so the option a is correct here so the next question a particle of charge q mass m linear momentum p enters an electromagnetic field of vector potential a and scalar's potential phi the hamiltonian of the particle is so the hamiltonian of the particle is given by sum of the kinetic energy plus potential energy so 1 divided by uh, the equation uh, for the total hamiltonian is given by 1 divided by 2 m vector p minus q by c vector a p power square uh, potential energy is related to phi scalar potential q into phi so option here b is correct actually this question is uh, related to uh, the total hamiltonian uh, both it related to uh, electrodynamics as well as classical mechanics so next one a linear transformation capital T defined as x1 x2 x3 is equal to x1 plus x2 x2 minus x3 uh, transforms a vector x for a three dimensional real space to a two dimensional real space uh, the transformation matrix is So first we have to uh, write down here the value of uh, 1 and 0 for the given matrix. So 1 into x1 plus 1 into x2 plus 0 into x3 that will be equal to x1 plus x2 uh, if we uh, take in this matrices. So 0 into x1 plus 1 into x2 minus 1 into x3 is equal to x2 minus x3. Uh, then uh, if we take the transformation t that would be given by this matrix 1 1 0 0 0 minus 1. So if we have the transformation uh, uh, as given here then we will get uh, this matrices so that means option one option a is correct uh, option one one zero uh, zero one minus one so option a is correct so the value of uh, integral r dot ds divided by j cube where R is the position vector and S is the closed surface enclosing the origin is. Uh, so if we take the integral here, we can write it as R by R cube into ds. So if we want to convert this surface integral into volume integral by divergence theorem, uh, Gauss divergence theorem, we can write del R by R cube. So del R by R cube is what uh, we can split uh, using differential uh, equation. So if we split this, so we can write del dot R 1 divided by R cube plus R dot del, del 1 by R cube. This we can take del of A by B. So we have to uh, simplify this equation. So del dot R is what 3 so r is in 3 dimension x 
y z coordinate so del dot r is equal to 3 differential of r del of 1 by r 3 is equal to minus 3 r cap by r 4 these are the standard values once we substitute uh, in this equation we will get 3 by r cube minus r dot 3 r cap by r 4 uh, so r r get cancelled so here 3 by r cube minus 3 by r cube equal to 0 so that means uh, the integral uh, given integral uh, is equal to 0 the volume integral option a is correct so the value of integral e to the power 2z divided by z to the power z plus 4 dz where c is the circle defined by mod z equal to 3 is this is uh, the question related to complex numbers so first take this given integral which has a pole at z equal to minus 1 here the z plus 1 to the power 4 the pole is z equal to minus 1 of the degree how much here 4 so then uh, this integral is equal to uh, 2 pi i real part of the integral uh, so for the limit z equal to minus 1 if we take the real part then 2 pi i f cube of z divided by 3 factorial we have to write here the uh, degree is 4 so we have to take the factorial of 3 z equal to minus 1 where f of z is equal to what? e to the power 2z then if we substitute here we will get 8 e to the power 2z divided by uh, factorial of 3 6 put z equal to minus 1 the limit in the above equation so we will get e to the power minus 2 uh, if we simplify we will get 8 by i divided by 3 into e to the power minus 2 so this is the correct answer option a is correct 8 by i 3 e to the power minus 2 so this is the value of the given integral the kth Fourier component of f of x is equal to delta x is so this value is always uh, equal to 1 by that is 1 by root 2 pi so that means option c is correct 2 pi minus 1 by 2 so one of the eigen values of matrix uh, is phi so uh, we have to solve this given matrix so let us take this uh, matrix and its determinant is given by 4 minus 9 if we uh, simplify it we will get the determinant of minus y the product of eigen values is equal to what uh, the determinant minus y so trace is what sum of the eigen values then uh, that is given by 2 uh, the uh, trace is 2 plus 2 plus 1 phi so sum of eigen values is equal to phi uh, lambda 1 lambda 2 plus lambda 3 equal to phi the product of eigen values is determinant minus phi so lambda 1 is given by 1 phi in the question they are given the eigen value of uh, lambda 1 that is phi if we substitute uh, lambda 1 we will get lambda 2 plus 3 is equal to 0 then lambda 2 into lambda 3 equal to minus 1 if we simplify uh, these two equations we will get lambda 2 equal to plus 1 lambda 3 equal to minus 1 uh, option c is correct here 
so we have to find out other two eigen values here 1 and minus 1 so next one the normalized eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value 5 is so normalized eigen vector uh, uh, if we want to find out we should take uh, the equation uh, like this a minus lambda i uh, column matrix x1 x2 x3 so for the same question uh, we are solving here so uh, uh, determinant is how much minus 5 so you have to subtract uh, minus 5 eigen value in the diagonal elements uh, then simplify uh, using column matrix so we will get the equations these two equations so finally we will get um, the values of x1 x2 and x3 so eigen matrix will be given by 1 1 0 1 1 0 option b is correct so next one the eigen values of matrix are i minus 2i and 3i the matrix is so these matrix all are imaginary mm, unitary matrix that is not true anti unitary matrix is also not true hermitian uh, that must be real all the eigen values must be real so the given eigen values are uh, imaginary i minus 2i and 3i so the answer will be anti hermitian option d the eigen values and eigen vectors of matrix are uh, so let us solve this so let us take the given matrices as a minus lambda i is equal to 0 uh, so 5 minus lambda 2 minus lambda uh, if we take the determinant that is equal to 0 if we solve uh, this uh, uh, matrices we will get the eigen values as 6 comma 1 so for the given option 6 comma 1 is common for a and c options so we need to find out eigen matrix so a uh, we have to write the matrix as ax is equal to 6x that is uh, a x is equal to lambda x so lambda we have uh, 6 comma 1 any of the eigen value we can take here so simplify uh, by taking these matrices then we will have the uh, values of x1 and x2 here so 4x1 equal to x1 and if we uh, multiply rows and columns here so x1 equal to 4x2 eigen function corresponding to 6r 4 comma 1 similarly with eigen value 1 uh, therefore the answer will be uh, option a 4 1 one minus one option a is correct